Hi everyone, I'm Mark Gate and I'm not from an English spoken country, I'm from Spain and you will you will see that I'm not really good at English at all. And I'm commenting that full gameplay, that full playthrough, uh, one credit clear gameplay of Real Boat Fatal Fury 2. And I, I do it in English because, well, first of all, because I want to improve my skills at English. I'm not really good at English, but it's a way to practice a little bit. And I have one more reason to do that, the, the important one. Uh, I do it in English because this winter I have been living in France with my uh, United States <laughs> girlfriend Colette and well now we are in different countries and she was often when we were together she, uh, we, she was often watching my attempts of one great clear gameplays and I was explaining her what what I did in in the gameplays and all that and well I missed those days then that's a way to to share with her uh, an, an explanation she can I guess she understands nothing when I comment uh, when I explain my gameplays in Spanish then that's a way that that she understands something and well that's that for you Colette good luck in DC uh, work hard and learn a lot. Everything is gonna be uh, all right, I'm sure. And well, I just introduced my credit. I will use Terry Bogart. He's my favorite player of the series. He's the main character. And the first enemy I choose is Chun Shu. Uh, I I choose this character at the beginning because she's. She, I think that's a girl actually, well, because this character is, is hard as hell and if you find, if you find it that, if you find it later, then I prefer having this character, this character at the beginning and also I choose this character because when you choose a character at the beginning, you will have always the same route, you will have always the same characters, well, you can it could change two three characters but the most of the characters will be always the same then i start with uh, chun shu just to be to be sure of what i will find later and like that i could i could learn uh, what to do with every character with this character i don't really do nothing nothing special i will do what i do in the next first first matches I will explain the combos the combos I use later. Now we have Franco Besh that actually looks the Spanish dictator Franco. I, I'm, not, I'm not joking, he, he, he looks the dictator. But the dictator was really small. That's fucking huge, but this guy, but well. With Franco, I can do some combos more. Uh, I will explain the two kind of combos that I use in this game. The first combo I use, the the easy the easy combo I use is the one that I tried I just tried here. I do a uh, low crouch uh, punch, then me uh, crouch crouch low kick and then crouch uh, hard kick, uh, strong kick, sorry. That's a really easy combo it's really easy to link to link sorry the all the attacks the all the sequence of attacks and then uh, I will explain you the second combo when when we see the combo we, now we are fighting uh, Rick uh, now you have seen the easy combo again the the easy combo and that's the a little bit more complicated combo not not really complicated at all. In this game, it's pretty 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 easy to to make combos. The the a little bit more complicated one is I to do that combo. I do crouch lo, low punch, then quarter circle forward with B button, the the low kick one, and then when I'm doing the the attack of the two kick that can. Uh, throw the character the, the enemy up to the, to the sky 
then I charge two, two seconds down, I'll hold the button down two seconds and then I push up and A button and we do the rising tackle that does a, a, a lot of damage and it's a really really good combo that does a, a lot of damage, it's not really complicated it's easy to, to, to do Mm, in the next matches, we the, the Andy Bogart match is, I think, is the beginning of the hard matches. You you will see that now it's more a lot more complicated to land combos. You you see that right now I'm losing the the round, and he's well he taunt me. Then I I I use this moment to to punish him. And when when I am in the corner and the enemy throws throws me on the floor, knock, knock out me. Uh, most of the enemies will will still attack when we are in the floor. Then we can mm, we can wake up with a uh, with the, in, that, in that case in Andy, in Terry's Bogart case we can wake up with a reversal attack, the rising tackle attack because. Mm, you will you will have luck and right mm, now you have seen that they will not defend of this attack but now I'm waiting that he does a, a something that let something not really safe like that to punish uh, to punish Andy but Andy Andy is a complicated character but now I could do the, the a little bit more complicated combo that's gonna be the name of the combo and I could punish him uh, now again I could I could punish him uh, with a raising tackle but that's not the match that I really like to play uh, what I try often is to jump behind him because he does uh, an anti-air punch and often it happened that he does uh, Andy does the punch on the wrong side then I ca if I'm fast I can I'm able to punish him but I couldn't do it in this run but this attack it's not really safe then I can I could I could punish him again well you have seen that I just lost a, a round uh, against him it was the first round that I lost I will lose I will lose some some rounds uh, during the the gameplay and now we are fighting Billy Kane Billy Kane is a little bit easier than Andy in my opinion the trick with this guy is is to dash to dash we push two two times uh, fast uh, forward and then we jump and then we can do the the easy combo uh, other ways to to beat this guy I think are not are not really useful then I I just try to when I'm at mid distance I just go back to to funny to, to run and then to, to land a full combo now I could punish a little bit but I missed the combo and also I could punish mm, that attack and I am again trying the same thing and I now that I am at distance I'm trying to land uh, to, sh to throw some fireballs but I cooled them and now I used the D button the D button let you go to the second line of a scroll but it's also useful to hit the the enemy when it's on the in the other line of the scroll I will never go uh, well I mm, never try to go to, to the other line because it's not it's not really useful and here uh, you have seen the that uh, huge fireball or fire disc of Billy he does always two fire disc uh, so so fast one after the other one but as I was really far I just wait some seconds to to see if, if he was uh, shooting uh, throwing the, the disc again and as he wasn't throwing throwing the disc I just went to 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 him to attack again but he was waiting to to shoot the the disc then I I lost the round because I I thought that he was he was just waiting a little bit but no he was waiting more than five seconds and uh, I was counting the time but it doesn't matter he 
when th when he throws the, the first one he will throws later the, the second one no matter how how time no matter how my uh, how many time he he wait for uh well we are now fighting that uh, meatball uh, Chinese meatball as you see the we have uh, we only have one line uh, one scroll line uh, there's a way to throw him to the to the second line but in the second line he he will electrocute himself I, I don't really use this kind of attack then I just try to jump on him uh, to to land a combo as I see uh, I, I keep I keep trying I keep trying I keep jumping till till I find a way uh, he can land these uh, anti-air balls uh, it doesn't hurt a lot it doesn't provoke a lot of damage then I keep jumping it's not really really technical this this match but I keep jumping till I till I can uh, land a combo uh, make a combo like this one this one was a really good one and now that I am in the corner, I'm just trying to finish to finish him. Uh, I'm not finding the way because it it has a correct distance to keep throwing the ball, but but no more ball for this mid ball. And now we are arriving to we are fighting. I think the most difficult enemy of my of my route. It's Kim Kavwan. Kim Kavwan is. Uh, fucking dangerous. He's a really difficult character, and with this character, that that match is gonna be really slow. With this character, I just threw the power wave like that. I keep throwing the the power wave to chip damage the maximum possible to make the most the most chip damage possible. And when he goes to the other line of the scroll, I try to punish to punish him with the with the punch that brings brings him to the to my this, this punch exactly this punch. And when he does this uh, overhead uh, attack, I just punish him with the, the easy combo. This overhead attack is so fast. Then you must you must pay attention because you must pay attention at this attack because. Uh, if you if you defend uh, crouch, uh, it will touch you. Then you, m I recommend you to defend uh, st standing up. And if he attacks down, well, you are <laughs> you are fucked up. But the other the other attack is it's more mind game. Then uh, it can force you to make more mistakes. Then st uh, stay st standing up, stand up to 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 defend for the other attack. Well, I keep I keep with the same strategy. Uh, I'm just waiting. Well, I'm just throwing the the fireballs, and I'm just waiting the overhead attack to punish to punish it. But uh, I don't have a, uh, a good advantage uh, at all. I'm just trying to punish the again the. But look at this combo! Look at this combo! Come on! Now I could punish with uh, I could punish him with a uh, ah that, that's the mistake I did yeah I forgot that when he went to the sorry when he went to the to the second line I just punish I just press press the D button to to hit him in the and bring it to, to my line but as he was really far from me I just went to the same line then uh, when I tried to come back. Uh, Far uh, fast, sorry, because I was I was losing and I I didn't I didn't have a lot of time to win the the round to come back. He just punished me. Then uh, I lost I lost the round because I pressed the the D button so so fast too too soon not fast too soon uh, actually and well I'm just here with the same strategy i know this match is is so disgusting F sorry for that but i don't really know how to how to win this enemy now i couldn't punish him with a raising tackle because he was really far but I, I missed the combo here but now i could do the raising tackle because as i told as i told you before uh when we are in the corner enemies keep keep attacking then we can we can when we are, when they knock out us, uh, we can often um, stand up with a with a reversal attack with this kind of 
uh, raising tackle, uppercut attacks uh, like Shoryuken and this and this kind of stuff. And well, we are with a more normal enemy, a fair enemy, uh, Blue Mary. That it's actually uh, a Terry Bogart girlfriend or something like that. I don't know. They probably had an affair together. Well, did uh, Blue Mary is an easy, pretty easy character. I, we can we can run run to her and land land combos. It's not it's not really complicated. As you see, when sometimes when I do the 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 two kicks that throws throw her up to the scale, if she's far from me, I just do the another attack with a kick. It's a quarter silk back to because. It arrives a little bit long. It's a little bit longer. The raising tackle is not arriving so far. Then I I need to do the, the other one. And now we are with, uh, in my opinion, the second hardest uh, fight of this of this route of the of the way to the to the one credit clear when we begin with uh, with the character I choose in the beginning. Uh, Chun Shu was the name. But I, I forgot. Well. With this character, what I have to do is to throw fireballs. <laughs> Keep throwing fireballs till the end. And and she, if she comes to to us and throws us, if she knocks down, knocks out, uh, knocks down, sorry, our character, we we just need to wait our wake up moment to land uh, to throw the raising tackle mm, she will she will receive the attack she will not defend of this attack and then we recover the distance we can still <coughs> we can still throw throw fireball and we can defend again again uh, i think it's a really difficult character and this character does a lot of damage has a really powerful combo but has also a uh, uh, Xiang Fei doesn't doesn't care to throw you uh, a super special attack. Uh, I think it's a really difficult character. Now you see two hits, and we are right now we we have done the same damage. I'm just waiting my moment. I just missed the raising tackle because it wasn't it wasn't a moment. It wasn't a wake up moment. She didn't knock down me, and I just keep uh, throwing fireballs. I will throw fireballs till the end. Okay, go away, go away. Look at the look at the background. Do you do you think that pig he really likes uh, anal sex? I'm I'm not really sure at all. Well, and look at that. I just tried to finish with a with a burning knuckle punch and <laughs> and I just I, I just I was about to to lose the match. Well, it was. <laughs> It wasn't a good decision, and well, we are now against the final enemy, Gis Howard. Uh, I think it's a really fair enemy. I, I really like to play against him because it's it's an overpowered character. It's normal that uh, a final boss, but it's so fair. We can we can beat him as we beat. Uh, as we beat Billy Kane, for example, we just run to him and we just run to him and we and we hit him like this one, like this moment with this punch. He was about to to land, to throw a super attack, but he couldn't. And now I am repeating the same strategy. I'm jumping to him and just run to to jump on him. I just do the dash and I then I I land the combo. And I repeat the same strategy. Here I miss the combo. It's normal. I was nervous. I told you that I'm not really good at this game. And now that's gonna be the end. This this Howard. You are done. Uh, I throw you my my cap on your on your nut. And you are done, guy. And you are done. Uh, we just complete. We just complete the game. It's done. Uh, we could complete the, the gameplay with a one credit clear. Here, here we have the record. We, as you see, we lost 
three. I lost three rounds against Andy, um, Billy, and Kim. I think it's a difficult game um, with this kind of character that uh, read your your moves. You know, SNK fighting games has uh, the CPU uh, reacts to everything we do. Then they read everything, absolutely everything we do. But I think I did a not really broken gameplay. I could do lots of combos and. I think it was it was fine, it was beautiful. And well, uh, now it's done. Uh, thank you very much for for your attention. I hope I hope you like it. I hope you you are not really hard about my English skills and well I hope you like it the the commentary. I hope you, you appreciate it. And thank you very much for watching the video and see you in the next one. Bye bye.